So hello my dear Brudos and as you can see it's my second campaign in year 2023. And today guys we're going to have a new Asian campaign. You're right, we're going to play as the Dominion of Delhi, we're going to bring Churchill to the power here, and of course we're going to restore the greatness of the British Raj, reunite India and of course reclaim all our lands. And bring greatness right here. Why did I choose India? Because for the last few months we were playing Europe a lot and I thought, okay, we had a Chinese campaign a few weeks ago and now we need to have Indian campaign. The first one on our channel, I should mention this fact too. So without any boring information, let's start our campaign and as always, enjoy! Adesh, adesh, adesh. Nineteen thirty six, Delhi's darkest hour. In short, there is writing about the situation in India right now that we are divided, the British Raj has fallen, Afghanistan wants to take our lands, everyone wants to destroy us and our colonial rule, but we will save it and even rebuild the great British Raj. Have faith in the Maharaja and the King Emperor. At least in this campaign we won't have any problems with the manpower cause we'll have the population 124 million people living in the Dominion of Delhi and it's even uh, more than the population of the Russian Republic cause Russian Republic has population around 90 million people. So we can uh, forget about manpower in this campaign, we need to think about equipment. For God, Emperor and India. Why do I like playing as Delhi? Cause at the beginning of the year we will have war against the Afghanistan. It is going to be just a funny walk through to Kabul. So in the April 1946 war was ended up. They don't even give me option to occupy Afghanistan. Well, that's bad, but we will come back here. At least we took back our mainlands of Pakistan. Oh, and I didn't mention that bringing Churchill is a pretty easy option, you just need to wait to April 1936, you will have the Imperial Durbar, and there you need to choose just the third option, how King Edward VIII and his Governor General of India Winston Churchill. And boom, we have changed our flag as well as now we've got based man Winston Churchill. I know only one scene named Winston except Churchill. It's cigarettes. But I didn't smoke them. I don't like smoking. So what do we need to do now after war with Afghanistan? It's April 1936 and to prepare for the final struggle we need to wait for January 1937. So now we've got more than 8 months to do whatever we want, to search whatever we want, so I will deal with the economy and military focus tree line. The Indian Empire Society. Churchill is the man for the job. Um, why am I not surprised? NRPR wins the Russian elections. Russian democracy? Huh. Whoa, from nothing I got even the barricades go up in Dehradun. So it's even about our clashes with Nepal. We can do three things. First of all, we can get another event. The second one will gain even more political power and declare war on Nepal. And we can just uh, get claim. That's the worst one scenario and I would like to choose the second one. Cause I need political power and I want to destroy Nepal. Let's go my dear Brudas. Capture Uttarakhand and take it back to India. And of course Nepal will be puppeted. Nepal has capitulated and oh my god guys I love this sound. Just listen to these sounds. Ah, heaven on the earth. You know, now it's January 1938, Bharatiya Kamun has war against the Kingdom of Thailand, and I think that it's the right time, you know, to invade the syndicalist. But I'll try with the option, uh, 
with the second option. We will have a price in uh, this uh, shitty state. Oh yeah, in February 1938 we have started the war against the Bharatiya Commune and also we got a successful uprising right up here in Assam and in a part of the Tawang. So now we need just to unite with those forces. In the beginning of the March 1938 we have captured their capital and probably they are going to capitulate pretty soon, yeah. So the San Pedersons has left to their capitulation. Just a few more cities. Plus we've got a thousand and encircle and in the east they are doing not so good too and their capital is, is located in a pretty strange place. For real I didn't think that it would be so easy. No jokes, I didn't think that it would be so easy. We just easily captured them in a month or in a month and a half. I don't know but it was too quickly. I didn't expect that. I expected that we would have a war for three or four months. Well, Kaiseridex can really surprise me. And that's the partition and results. So we have fully annexed Birma and Bharatiya Kamun. Jeez, man, this border is pretty nice. In the future we need to conquer Bhutan and make it as our puppet. And our next stop is going to be Princely Federation. And the same fate is waiting for the another India. We will initiate rebellion in the south. And holy shit, now we've got army which contains 72 divisions. Meanwhile, Princely Federation has around 40 divisions. Bro, they have no chances. Yeah, we've got successful rebellion in the southern part of this India. And this is pretty good. Three divisions in Travancore. Yay, our first huge encirclement here and that's minus 7 divisions. Minus 11 divisions in this small encirclement. And don't forget about this encirclement near Goa. And as a result we got the capitulation of the southern separatists. So by August 1938 the main India is reunited. And now our main goal is to take back the small lands that are still under the control of our enemies, such as Ceylon or Sri Lanka. You see, Bhutan is going to our sphere of influence, cause I don't want to see an independent Bhutan. But anyway, my next enemy is going to be Afghanistan and Kabul. We need to fully destroy them and make as our puppet. Now it's perfect. Oh my god, what a surprise. The Kingdom of France declared war on the German Empire. And that means that in the end of the September 1939, the Second World Crack has officially started. Let's start our next operation in Afghanistan in January 1940. We need to finish them. We can even offer protection for Oman and if we do that, they will join the Intente. It's a good proposition. Of course we will offer them it. Bye bye independent Afghanistan. And in this campaign I want to liberate one more country and add them to our sphere of influence and of course to Entente. It's gonna be the Socialist Republic of Iran. Plus they are socialists, so we need to destroy them anyway. And now we've got loyal Afghanistan and just look at our sphere of influence in Indian Peninsula plus in the Middle East. We got a pretty cool position, meanwhile other states of Entente isn't doing good enough and their sphere of influence stayed as shitty as it was at the beginning of our campaign, but you know, India with Winston Churchill, it's just a gigachat state. We are even better than Canada. Come on baby, we need to be a leader of this alliance. For example, I have more military factories and civilian factories than Canada do. And it's not even a joke. Well, guys, uh, conquering of Iran is cancelled, cause you see what has actually happened. They became the Russian puppet, and I don't want to attack Russia, cause you understand why the hell do we need to do that? We have no reason for doing that, so um, we will stay without any intervention into the Iran. But I've got good news for you guys. So Republic of Thailand submits to our demands for returning the Birma's territories and we did it successfully. The funny thing to me is that we're just chilling now, you know. We control everything that we need 
and they gave us territories even with that fact that they joined the super prosperity sphere of Japan but still we are good friends my dude we are the good friends well guys I can't push this focus because we don't own all core states of the Raj authority and I have got on one question how the fuck do I supposed to do that okay let's take for example Goa Portugal is our ally what do we have to do them? We don't have option to demand it. Jeez, man, this game is strange, as well as with the German Empire. I don't even have option to, like, you know, to demand those lands, to annex them, to do something with them. No, like, like I've, I, I got course on them, and that's actually all. Okay, let's try just with Goa. Imagine that uh, we have diplomatic relationships with um, Portugal, we had a diplomatic... Um, I, I don't know, meet and they said, okay, we will give you Goa. Oh, well, Goa was pretty enough to do that. But well, but still without cheats, we can't just do that. And that sucks, because, you know, it's my ally and I can't do nothing with that. Because the Redux can really surprise me sometimes. So this is a reformed India, just India, not Republic, not Dominion. Now we are just India. We'll get the Indian flag, the normal Indian flag, not um, British flag of India, but still, Winston Churchill is the leader of India. I think that he is going to be the leader of India to his death. But man, for the last four years this dude have united India, developed it and did everything that he could to make this country great and build, a and build Indian own sphere of influence.